Yes, Let me ask you this. Do you feel that the 30% rating that you have for the scars and the pain in your foot is, is accurate to the sacrifices that you've made for this nation? That the VA decision is, is accurate in your case? Yes, ma'am, I do. You know, my right arm was essentially blown off and reattached. Um, I spent a year in limb salvage with over a dozen surgeries over that time period. And um, in fact, we thought we would lose my arm, and I'm still in danger of, of possibly losing my arm. I can't feel it. I can't feel my three fingers. My disability rating for that arm is 20%. In your letter to a government official, I think it's the SVA, um, attention, Gina Mu, you said, my family and I have made considerable sacrifices for our country. My service-connected disability status should serve as a testimony to that end. I can't play with my kids because I can't walk without pain. I take twice daily pain medication so I can work a normal day's worth. These are crosses. These are crosses that I bear due to my service to our great country, and I would do it again to protect this great country. I'm so glad that you would be willing to play football in prep school again to protect this great country. Shame on you, Mr. Castillo. Shame on you. You may not have broken any laws. We're not sure yet. You did misrepresent to the SBA, but you certainly broke the trust of this great nation. You broke the trust of veterans. Iraq and Afghanistan veterans right now are waiting an average of 237 days for an initial disability rating. And it is because people like you who are gaming the system are adding to that backlog so that young men and women who are suffering from post-traumatic stress, who are missing limbs, cannot get the compensation and the help that they need. And I'm sure you paid through, played through the pain of that foot all through college. Well, let me tell you something. I recovered with a young man, a Navy corpsman, who, while he was running into an ambush where the, his Marines were hurt, had his leg knocked off with an RPG. He put a tourniquet on himself and crawled forward. He is who played through the pain, Mr. Costello. You did not. You took advantage of a system. You described these status just today that other companies were using these special statuses as competitive weapons against you. You who never picked up a weapon in defense of this great nation, very cynically at, took advantage of the system. You broke the faith with this nation. You broke the faith with the men and women who lie in hospitals right now at Walter Reed, in Bethesda, at uh, Brook Army Medical Center in Landstu. You broke the faith with them. And if this nation stops funding veterans' health care and stops and calls into question why veterans reserve their benefits, it is because cases like you have poisoned the public's opinion on these programs. I hope that you think twice about the example that you're setting for your children. I hope that you think twice about what you are doing to the nation, to the, this nation's veterans who are willing to die to protect this nation. Twisting your ankle in prep school is not defending or serving this nation, Mr. Castillo. Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry. I've gone, you've been very indulgent. I yield back. Uh, I thank the gentlelady, and the time was well spent.